just a, a short remark on um, on the issue of the commons and private property rights. Uh, commons is the way life has been organized. Even England had to have big three centuries of struggles to defend the commons and against the enclosures of the commons. Every indigenous struggle in the world, in the Amazon, in Africa, is about the defense of the commons, not as property, but as the earth of which we are a part. So commons has a long history and the laws around it as common law have a very long history. It's just the short 500 years of colonialism and that has created the privatization and enclosures and the seed issue, the biodiversity issue, the biopiracy issue is one. But when you ask, where do I see us going? If we give more strength to the ecosystem view that we are one earth family and organize around that, de develop our consciousness around it, we will create new commons. We'll have better capacity to care and much more abundance to share. And if you notice right now, the only places where the food is available to people is where local food systems were created. Community supported agriculture was created. Otherwise the supermarket shelves are empty. The entire food chain has collapsed. But as you read in that quotation from my blog, the crisis we are in is related to a mechanistic, militaristic, property mindset. And it is actually using the crisis to get more concentrated. Over the last few years, I have been observing how the digital rubber barons are combining with the biotech industry and the GMOs are combining with the chemical industries, the buyers, which are now the Monsantos, and they're combining with the information technologies to very, very rapid level. So we could have a deeper mechanistic fragmentation, bigger ego in the hands of 10, five billionaires, power and total control, surveillance systems, annihilation of every biodiversity, worse, creating throwaway people. Many of them have said the future is artificial intelligence. And artificial intelligence means we know nobody else for work. Our algorithms will do it all. Sadly, that means 99% humanity will be useless and throw away. And I don't want this crisis to become a rehearsal for large numbers of throwaway people. That's where our deep democratic spirit must come back after the crisis is over, after the isolation is over to say these are foundational rights. As Earth family, these are foundational rights as democracy, as free people, because what I'm watching is, while people's consciousness is growing for another world, there's a new colonization. You know, coming from a third world country, you, you recognize colonization. You have to be through it to know when it's happening. And our land was colonized, our biodiversity was colonized, our knowledge was colonized through biopiracy, but the new colonization is the bodies and minds of every individual. Our minds are becoming minds of data. That's being mined to then manipulate our behavior. And if we allow that stage to be entered, there won't be life, there won't be freedom, there won't be a future.